Still up? Yeah. Well, hang on. Let me look. Anyway, hey, everybody. How everybody's doing today? Today's <laughs> happy is going to be making a wedding. But we had to, I had to share something with you that was so kind that I thought this is so neat. And it was the lady that made all those arrangements. I know. Here, let me, let get me her see name. your phone. You want me to look? Here, here okay. you look. You look I can multitask. I'll okay. look. So anyway, she actually texted me this morning, sent a message this morning that she had she had put out in a local paper. Carrie, uh -huh. K-E-R-R-I, Herlick. Herlick. Carrie Herlick. Anyway, she made arrangements. She put something out in her paper to ask people about flowers and stuff. And she made arrangements for all her neighbors that were like shut-ins and people that were um, special workers and things yep. like that. I thought it was so cool. I mean, she made a ton, too. And, and she said, like, I really want to spread happy. Yeah, so she spread happy everywhere today, so this morning. So I thought that was so cool that she did that. So with that being said, we're going to try to spread a little happy here. We're going to work on a wedding. We have one tomorrow on Friday, which... Used to be, we used to do a ton of what, when I got married, we got married on a Friday because we couldn't afford to be gone the whole weekend. So you get married on Friday and have your honeymoon and be back to work on Monday. So that was old, old, old school. So now people are trying to get married again on Fridays again for some reason. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out and I'm going to make the bride's bouquet first. So we're going to use some Playa Blanca roses, some white stock. Some white O'Hara roses, which are kind of blushy in the middle. Some white hydrangea. Some white Lusianthus. And I'm not really sure about the name of this one. It almost Is that Novia? Looks like a Novia. Not doing very well for me, though. Oh. It's kind of like dropping some petals. Mm. And then we're going to use some white sumac, which I think this is so pretty. Here. Looks like a stilby kind of. Yeah, it does like a stilby. I thought it was a stilby, but I checked Frida's notes where she ordered it. It's called White Sumac. And there's another name for it too. There you go. So we're gonna go with that, and then we're gonna we're gonna call it with some some provarlia, provarlia, pro, provarlia. I mixed it up again, and some silver doll eucalyptus. So I've already cleaned all my stems, meaning I went back and dethorned everything, and I took all the guard petals off already, and I've already stripped the thorns off and took the extra foliage I didn't need. But I did want to kind of share you a trick on when you're doing, when you're cutting your greenery up early, how you might want to do that. So many times we waste, we can waste it if we don't, if we're not careful about it. So this one all has great laterals on it already. So all we're going to, we're just going to cut that from there into there. And then I might save that piece for later, like for centerpieces or whatever. So I'm going to get all my ends that I need for the centerpiece for the bouquets already so I'm not wasting anything. Let me do that again because that really wasn't a very good one. See like on this one I probably would go back and I would cut that right into that little piece there and then cut that piece off so I've got three good pieces off of it. The only bad part about it, that stem is pretty thick there. So anyway, a little trick there on cutting that greenery up. And then another little trick here would be take this and we would want to take that off there. And then I would probably cut these pieces like this because I can get more volume in these little groups like that. Once again, these stems are pretty thick. So while you keep doing that, we have a lot of happy family members <laughs> on today. So I'm going to scroll back to the top and start. Okay. We have friends from Ohio, Delaware, Mississippi, Conway, Louisiana, Pennsylvania, Illinois, Florida, Bella Vista. Miss Marina, ask how you're doing today. I'm doing good. So I'm going to go ahead and start this. So in this bouquet, we're going to use two hydrangeas, the base. And then we're going to start going back in with our... O'Hara roses. We have friends from Tennessee, New York, London, Maryland, Indiana, California, Virginia. Cool. Um, Miss Elaine said gorgeous roses. Friends from Wisconsin, Canada. I wonder how our friends in California are doing. I'm kind of worried about them. Mm. All those fires and stuff going on. My cousin just moved into college in um, mm. California today. I hope she had something to move into. Mm-hmm. Um, Ireland. Uh, Miss Nancy asked, do we ever get Oceana roses? Oceana? Oceana. Um, I don't 
think Oceana is as available as it used to be. There's a, different, a lot of different varieties of peach that we see more of now. Miss Janet said, isn't sumac poison? This variety hopefully isn't because I've Hope just not. wiped all over with it. So I was thinking that when I was cleaning it up and I was taking the leaves up. Mr. Chris and I mo may both be gone tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> well, sumac off the side of the road that has the red berries is poisonous. I do know that. But this this has a different name. The white sumac just may be the common name. I'm sure it's really not sumac. I promise you it looks just about like um, a still be to me. So, Christina, we got to get this checked because I wonder if this pink's too heavy or not. I know. We will. It says blush, but oh, we'll see. making me kind of nervous. Anyway, so. It'll be fine. We'll, we'll ask We'll get her. it checked. We always take it out. So, there's that. So, we have lots of friends saying they love to watch you. Oh, good. We have friends from all over today. I mean, truly. Oh, my goodness. So the thing about these thicker stems, you're just gonna put them right at the very top. So it doesn't make the bouquet itself real bulky at the bottom. Does that make sense? Maybe sorta of, kinda? That makes sense. Because the eucalyptus will hold up for several days out of water, especially that variety. Mother Norwood might have to run to the happy tomorrow if you guys are out. <laughs> might have to run the happy. You know, I texted her last night and I was like, our happy family is so excited to see you. She I did not tell, get a response. She didn't, she didn't inform me. She did respond. She just didn't write to you. <laughs> she said, she said uh, I don't mind doing that, but they will not be seeing me in her, seeing my face. Uh -huh. Oh, goodness. Uh, she has she always been camera shy. We have no pictures. The kids always laugh when she dies. What are we going to do? Just use her, her driver's license, I guess, is the picture at the... I guess we'll have to pull out from the newspaper when y'all are oh, in the newspaper whatever. last year. Oh, uh whatever. -huh. I'll post a picture of that. Okay. So, Miss Melissa said the apple fire in uh, Southern California is 95% contained. The Northern Northern California is ablaze. Yeah. It's because of all of the um, lightning strikes. We've had like over a thousand different That's lightning strikes. That's so sad. Strikes. And you can't control that for sure. So, what shape would you consider this bouquet? Freeform. A little bit more elongated someone asks is this for a specific bride it yes, is it is for miss tracy but i'm making it better than the picture Oop, yes did i say that did you say that I out loud sure did. you did I sure did say that out loud miss carol said that she would like to shadow us for a week oh man come when we have a big wedding you can help us <laughs> yeah come on or when we start christmas installations or when we start well, miss linda said how do you keep the keep them fresh for the event. Do you keep them in water and refrigerated? Yes, we're, this will go directly. As soon as I finish, we're going to cut this off. And I'll show you what we're going to do. We're going to cut it off and stick it into a vase of water. And then we'll just deliver this to the location tomorrow and, at 10 o'clock. Yeah, and what? Well, it's 10 o'clock. Oh, 10 or 11. Yeah. Well, glad I'm doing it today. Me too. Uh, anyway. We have a friend from Vermont on... Awesome. So we're going to tape that. We always, I'm probably, I think I'm the one of the few people that uses Oasis tape. I'm going to stick that pink in just a little bit deeper. So I'm afraid it's going to be a little bit too sharp. So Miss Sue said, do brides ever break apart, do break apart bouquet so that when she throws it, it goes to several gals to catch it? Uh, you can do that. that. You can do that. I actually did that. Here's another thought with that is I actually did something similar to that for, um, baptisms a baptismal mm. and i made a bouquet that was at the base of the font and then we took it apart and every grandmother and mother got every all the grandparents got to take something home from the baptism i haven't so, seen that before so there's that so miss margie said northern california is um evacuation alert at zero percent contained oh gosh Someone, yeah. I forgot who it was, said that their brothers lost two homes in the last three years. Oh, no. That, oh, no. And then Miss Frida said, not our Miss Frida, um, but another Miss Frida said two possible hurricanes um, headed to the Gulf early next week. I saw that. Oh, no. My sister's at the beach right now. Oh, no. She may not be at the beach for long. That's right. So these are going to be the bridesmaids, and they're going to be much simpler. 
We have lots of people saying they smaller. love to use Oasis tape when they wrap their bouquets. Oh, as well. good, 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 good. I thought I was the only one that was so lazy they didn't want to do anything else. So this is the bridesmaids. Yep. Something really simple. Miss Linda said this is her first time uh, oh, live that she's seen. She's been watching on YouTube. Oh, wow. We have had a lot of traction on YouTube recently. Yeah. I've gotten a lot of right. emails about it. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. Well, good deal. Oh, Miss Arlene said that her daughter had a breakaway toss bouquet. Well, cool. You know, so many times we used to sell up, sell a lot of those throwaway bouquets, you know, when they have pictures. But honestly, half the bridesmaids don't pay attention to what they're doing with the flowers afterwards unless you got it designated for something. Right. So now we just suggest just grab a bridesmaid's bouquet. They don't care. You know, because so many times the bride doesn't want to throw her bouquet. She wants to keep it. So, anyway. Miss Cindy said, can she purchase the cutters that you're using? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, we have someone, Miss Glenda said, do you wrap the bouquets with ribbon? Yes, ma'am. We do once it's approved. Once it's approved and once the day of, we'll, we'll rewrap it. We try to leave it out of the water, I mean, because the ribbon can get wet sometimes. Miss Janice says she loves watching your show. She took her phone into the laundry room so that she would not miss you. <laughs> there was a lady yesterday in Atlanta that took her, watched the show in Kroger's. I said, well, I bet you got some stairs <laughs> watching, <laughs> watching, picking up, going funny. through the potatoes and watching the, uh, watching the show. That was yeah. a good one. <laughs> Miss Leanne said, Chris, you are anything but lazy. <laughs> I thought that was great. Miss Johnson said that they use zip ties, but it's really interesting to try to um, pull bulldog tape for the next one we do. Yeah. Well, a lot of people use zip ties. It's just for me, a lot of times I want to adjust something. And for me, it's harder to ma manipulate that and make it work. Oh, Miss Jennifer said I watch at the grocery store too. <laughs> <laughs> we had. I've heard people be in the parking lot, pulling over in the parking lot and doing it, but... I thought that was great. I thought, oh, mercy. Uh, Miss Melissa said that her wedding bouquet hit the chandelier and it quickly turned to a break apart. Oh, bouquet. my goodness. Well, that made for something to everybody talk about, didn't it? And Miss Sue said that her daughter did a break apart bouquet and it was a surprise to everyone. Oh, good. Um, Mr. Guy said, What color are the bridesmaids' dresses? Ooh, I knew that's, you were going to look at me. That's your gig. I don't know. That's your gig. I don't worry about that. So. Um, I'm sorry. I. Don't know. I want to say blush, I'm but sure I could blush. be wrong. Blue has been popular recently. I'm sure it's blush. Um, Miss Vicky said on YouTube you can connect it to your smart TV and make it larger to watch you. Oh my goodness. Oh, Miss Peggy said she watched in Kroger too. <laughs> mercy, mercy, mercy. Oh, Miss Nad Nadine, maybe? She said her friend is in the hospital and has been for 20 days with COVID. Oh, my goodness. And she has had him hooked to watching us. He said it makes his pain bearable. Oh, my goodness. That's just... Uh, we had something horrible today. We had a lady call, and she canceled her funeral order because the wife died today. So they're going to wait and have both the funerals at the same time. Oh, so sad. Uh, uh, so Miss Bonnie said she watched when she was at an antique show the other day. Oh my goodness! Her antique store the other day. So these are simple and small, and so I've got two more to make. It takes me longer to tape them than it does to do them. Come on, tape. What percentage of brides give approval of their bouquets when it's finished? Every one of them. <laughs> we, we don't do anything. We don't do anything without approval. We don't do anything without approval, and that means we send pictures. Uh, they, they, we just do not want to have that amount of stress on her. We want her to be perfectly happy and it's exactly what she wants. <laughs> Miss Janet said she's watched us while she's outside, uh, cutting leaves. No, pulling <clears throat> weeds. Pulling weeds? Mercy. Miss Deborah gonna... said her wedding bouquet fell in the pool. <laughs> Oh, oh, Ms. Yeah. Wanda said people shouldn't have their phones on the store. It gets on my nerves. Uh, well, if it's Chris is happy, does that yeah. does that make it okay? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> oh, Miss Laura said she works at Kroger and she watches while she's on break. Oh, my goodness. Oh, so someone said they love watching, but could we hold the camera horizontal so the picture is bigger on YouTube? 
We could, but the problem with that is, is like, that okay, I'm going to show y'all real quick. If we do this way, see how it doesn't let you. And then if you did, the, the writing would be all over Mr. Chris's face. Oh, hey, Miss Carol said thing. Kroger is turning into a happy meeting place. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to add Luzianthus that last one. Miss Nancy said, what do people do after the wedding reception with all of their flowers? A lot of times for us, they will take them with them, especially now because things have gotten a little bit smaller as far as what we call micro weddings with the COVID stuff. And so they definitely, there's no pick up for us or clean up for us or whatever. And then sometimes, and I've had brides that we've actually gone back and redesigned stuff and re-delivered it to a lot of people that gave showers or to special friends or nursing. Yeah. yeah, nursing homes are get nursing homes and nursing homes aren't as a big of a problem now, but hospitals they really don't want the flowers mm -hmm. there, like you would think. So that's become a little bit of an issue there. Miss Yolanda said she's missed us the last few times, but she's on today. Well, good. Miss Donna said, do you show samples first when you have the consultation? Um, we have a we show a lot of pictures, so that kind of helps a lot. And then we go back, but as far as the actual of, we show them the, you know, as we're making it, we're showing what we're doing. Like yesterday, we walked through the cooler, we selected our flowers. Did brides use prayer books with flowers anymore? Um, on occasion, not like it used to be. I forgot the Lysianthus in this one. Um, on occasion, they do. It's, you know, we were talking about that, and that's so strange you bring that up. We were just talking about that, that now with a lot of the grandparents not being able to go, that you would, I think we're going to see a lot more brides like this was my grandmother's or, you know, things that we would incorporate into the bouquet. <laughs> what? We have a few people saying free advertising for Kroger. This happy episode is sponsored by, by Kroger. Kroger. So I wish I had Kroger sponsorship. Do anyway. you know the name of a rose that is white and blush in the center? O'Hara. This one, the O'Hara. Yeah. yeah, the O'Hara is amazing. Because it's more like a garden style rose. Ooh, that one's just sticking Miss Sandy said donate Wait. to the church for Sunday. People do that as well. Well, you know that in all of our churches, or with anything, just so that you'll know, anytime you put flowers on the altar or, on the, or in the church, that's considered tithing. So you can, not that you need to, but you could actually write it off your taxes. Or leave it. We always leave flowers at the church. We never take flowers out of the church. Ms. And some places won't let us take the flower. They say once it goes on the altar, it's God's. So, Miss so Raina it. said, "Have you ever had someone from the bridal party say that like they watched you make their bouquet?" Not yet. I have we? we had one. Have we? Did we? I don't know. Yeah, I think so. We had one. Well, cool. And they loved it. Well, I hope she liked it. <laughs> she did. If not, we got a problem. So as we go back through this. <laughs> Anastasia ca said, can someone at Kroger pick me up a dozen eggs? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we're getting really close to finishing this one off. And so what I thought I would do is actually this morning we made a bouquet and we had the color did not come across the way it should have. Meaning we thought we were going to use quicksand roses, but the quicksand roses came in were too pink, right? Correct. So they looked to, pink and purple instead looked of... looked pink and purple instead of rust and peach. Yes. So, we had to totally redo it. So, we had those roses left over. So, I thought I would, when I finish this one, I'm going to make up just a dummy bouquet of these colors. And also, it's all these cool wildflowers we just got in, too. So, you have a little bit different look. So, someone so wants me want to tell you... So, we don't want you to be bored. What? What I do That now? not all of the stems in that last base are in water. They will be once we recut them. Okay. Um, but thank you, though. Are these silk or fresh? These are all fresh. And the stock smells so good today. Sometimes stock is kind of, uh, and but today it smells like fresh ground clove. So Mr. Steve said he just wanted to thank both of us for making a bright spot in the world amidst the chaos of life today. Oh, you're so kind. Have we ever had a bridezilla that hated her bouquet? Um... We've had a few that weren't happy at the beginning. They were happy at the end. But they were happy at the end. 
Miss Carol said it's everyone different. Every single bride is different. Everybody's different. Do you put ribbon or anything on the stems once you get them yes. done? Yes, we do. We do. We, we wrap them with satin ribbon right before we go. Cover all of our mechanics. We can go all the way down the stem. We just sometimes just do where the tape is. So it just kind of goes, depends on what they want. So there's our four bridesmaids and our one bride. So now let's take our leftovers and we're going to make something kind of fun, hopefully. Hopefully. I'm not going to use any white. I'm going to use a little bit of blush. So on this one, let's get all these over here. Aren't you proud of me that all that cleaned up for a minute? Oh, look, I know. I'm I know so proud. Mm. So, might possibly use these. Kind of don't want to, though. Well, don't use them. Well, let's see. We'll see if we think. Well, let's see if the happy family thinks we need it or not. So, we're going to use nine bark. So, now this makes you crazy. Da -da -da -da. A little bit of russet. This is called Analoga Agon. Uh, Don't look whatever. at me. Fritos not here, so I was having to pun on that one. A couple of. Ooh, I've got a mess going on here. It's kind of like bad hair. Two so PG, two PG hydrangea. A little bit of eucalyptus. Let me turn it that way. Then Guy all, asked if we have a good selection of ribbon at Tipton Hurst. Mm, pretty good. I would say we do. Pretty good. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> um. Those scabios that we used yesterday, this is more the maroon color. Mm, love those. Two beautiful dahlias. Is it Agions? A G O N S. Yeah. A G O I N S. Yeah. Some lavender hydrangea garden, that vintage garden style. A couple of porcelana roses. Hang on. Remember this morning you were asking, do we not have quicksand roses? These are quicksand roses. I know, that's what Miss Jen told me. Yeah, it's like, oops. Those don't look like quicksand. No, they look too lavender, actually. And then a couple pieces of cedium. More, we had a few of those left. I didn't know if I would need them or not. And then the Queen Anne's lace. And those maroon to a little bit of lavender color. Put that there. And just a smidge of olive. What are most mothers nowadays doing? A great handbag. Anyway. <laughs> Someone said they carried a nosegay 18 years yeah, ago. They, we do a lot of nosegays. We very rarely, hardly ever, ever pin anything on a dress anymore. You can do the magnet thing, but we really don't even do that. A lot of our dresses really don't have a, focal, a place for that. So I know people in the flower business are going, oh no, he's not selling flowers. Well, I can sell flowers somewhere else. Besides pinning on a great dress. Um, Mr. Guy said he loves porcelina yeah. roses. Yeah, they are beautiful. So I'm just going to give us a little bit of this. So what are you making with all of these flowers? Another nose game. Another okay. bouquet. So let's start with our hydrangea. I'm going to add just a little bit of that into there. This is going to be a lot more freeform. Miss Janice said you could do a purse corsage. You can. You definitely can. Miss Deborah said wristlets. That's what we do have some that do wristlets. We do, we do wristlets quite a Grandmothers bit. Grandmothers do wristlets. Yeah. Um, I always say if you're a big hugger, though, you may not want to do a wristlet so much. But we can definitely adjust those to fit right. So I'm going to put this maroon color in really deep. It's kind of, kind of become the focal point. I'm going to take that over to there. I'm going to pull this one over to here. Miss Lisa said she loves Leonidas roses for fall. We, they are beautiful. I've never seen that rose. You have. It's, what I call color? it chocolate roses. Oh. Yeah, I think you've seen it. Miss Gwen said that she had a Tussie Mussy for her mother of the groom, and it was beautiful. Yeah, we do that. Oh, Anita said, who can hug anymore? Uh, who can hug anymore? That's you can't right. Hug. I guess we're going to have flowers. That's a good selling point. Can't hug anymore, so just got to have flowers, right? So Miss Cindy wants us to show her a wristlet that we do. We'll have to do that one day. Well, do you like the wristlets. boutonnieres and, you know, corsages? Yay, my favorite. I know they are. <laughs> so someone said, what on earth is a nosegay? They've never heard that term before. Miss Bernie is from Oxford, England. What? Really? 
because that's where it kind of started from, believe it or not. A nosegay mm -hmm. would be used to, especially in London, they would put all the garbage out on the streets and they would have to pick it up. But, you know, it would be days before they would come and pick it up. So women used to, to, to cut down the smell would pin flowers in little pel lapel pins, like a fragrant rose or whatever. So when they would turn this way and they'd smell, it would be make your nose gay. Happy oh, mm -hmm. because it smells better. There you go. There you go. So someone said, what is a purse corsage? They've never heard that, Miss Yolanda. Purse corsage is a corsage that we just pin to a purse. Um, do you know Pat Shirney from Austin, Texas? Shirley. Pat Shirley. Shirley. I do know Pat Shirley. She actually watches us. She does. I've, I've you know, seen yeah. her name. She's an AFD member. Maybe they call it Rosie Posey. Rosie, that could be. That, I think they've got tons of other names as well. But being in America, we just kind of picked up saying that y'all called them nose gays. So. Miss Beverly said that she's missed seeing us this week. Your work is gorgeous. She said that I add some fun flair. Oh, mm, the sassy pants. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, sassy pants. Mm -hmm. What your mama says. Hey, I'm about to be gone for three days, so you won't have to deal with it. Oh, uh, whatever. Um, who gets this since the bride and four attendants are made? This is just this for fun. is just this is just me making up some loose ends that I had earlier today. I thought it'd be fun because these colors are so this whole organic from the garden vibe is so huge right now. And it's so unconventional in the fact that it's not like a tight nose cave, but more just a real free form. Miss Janet said that she worked under her for a bit in Austin. Oh, she watches us almost every day, I think. Or I think watches she does. during some time of the day, probably at night. See, you may not miss, miss me while I'm gone, but some of the happy uh, people said they will. Wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> so, um, Mr. Play to the crowd. Ken, play to the crowd. No. Mr. Ken said, nose gays are called tussy mussies also. See, exactly. Miss Bernie said, thank you for the explanation. Now she gets it. Yeah, tussy mussy. Tussy mussy, nose gay. We call them nose gays <laughs> too, in the fact that we do a lot of those, like for little debutante balls and stuff that we have here, and also for our cotillion dance. That's where you, um, your child goes and learns etiquette and how to dance properly. And then at the end of it, we have called Holly Ball. And at Holly Ball, all the little girls are supposed to carry a little nosegay that they made themselves with their mother. Of course, none of them do that, so. But that's so, okay, that keeps us in business, right? That's true. Um, so Mr. Guy asked if I'm in the wedding this weekend. It's a very small wedding, so she doesn't have any bridesmaids, but there's three of us that are like, you know, getting our hair and makeup done and staying with her the night before and stuff. So, will you wear flowers at your friend's wedding, Christina? I will. It's only the bride is the only person with flowers. Well, I mean, she has table arrangements and stuff, but no attendance flowers. Miss Michelle said that she's late, but she's watching today. Awesome. Miss Charlotte said she can send it to her. We can send this arrangement to her. <laughs> So we are done with this. I think pretty pretty well done with it. We have someone that said, woohoo, a thousand viewers, or a thousand oh one hundred viewers. Oh my goodness. They said they love this. It's so elegant and very natural looking. Very organic. Very organic. So I always worry make them too big sometimes. Go big or go home. Yeah, but I don't want to cover the bride up too much, right? That's true. It is about her. Yeah. So anywhere, that's just using our scraps up today. I thought that's kind of fun though. <laughs> Someone said you can't go much more southern than Cotillion. Oh, uh, that's right. Hey, I did Cotillion all my years. That turned out pretty though. That did. Love I really liked that. Yeah, especially that rust and the, all the lavender. But different strokes, different folks. Everyone has their own thing. So anyway, that's today's happy. Tell everybody. Tell Christina. Have a great. Have a great weekend. Mm -hmm. We'll be here one way or the other tomorrow. Miss Renee will be here, y'all. Yeah, well, she said, well, we're still in negotiations, I believe, but we're going to work it out. No worries. No Mr. worries. Mr. Chris will be here, and that's the most yeah, important. Yeah, well, we'll be here one way or the other. Anyway, y'all have a blessed evening, those in California, and I know that we got people in Puerto For Rico sure. that are having bad storms, and 
man oh man everybody be safe and be careful definitely all right and we'll see you later thanks for watching bye